And um, that's where the kind of name came from. I jokingly say it's all about the greenbacks because a lot of people made a lot of money in this addiction to the next side, you know, herbicides, pesticides. Um, and when you break that word down, it literally means to kill, like suicide. And, you know, and, and you know, no farmer intentionally goes on their farm wanting to kill things. But when the education structures and the agronomists and the companies are giving you stats and figures, you're doing the best with the best information you have. And I think it took years of then zooming out and going, I think this is wearing out. You know, this is no longer effective and maybe I don't feel as right. Um, and that's where we then moved more into that head, uh, from head decision making to heart. And that's why I think the regenerative movement does have a lot of things around spirituality and, you know, deciding with your heart or your gut feeling and doesn't sometimes make logical sense going from all these inputs to what? I'm just going to let nature do it or like cover crops, you know, capture the sunlight and put it in the soil. It's like, yeah, that's what plants are designed to do in forests, you know. You know, it feels a bit woo-woo, but when you slow down, you can kind of see, the, you know, the, the common, you know, common sense and the science behind it as well, which fascinates me. And then the links between soil health and gut health is like the next chapter that's getting me very excited. <laughs>